real sprint specialist and, and really having a go for this. It could benefit possibly Joanna Fargus just below her, who will be working, I don't know, to keep up with her. But this is really a dominating first one under by Sarah Price. If she can get anywhere close to holding on to this, then she's definitely going for this race. But a really strong swim in the middle from Don Duncan. She's looking very good at this point. Well, 63.45 seconds, which is a second and a half inside British record pace at the midway turn from Sarah Price. Second place, Fargus. Absolutely dead level with Helen Don Duncan. They clock the same time. Yeah, this is pretty good price and picture now from Martin Cottle, coached by Reese Gormley. This is a great swim. She can hold on. I think she's going to find it tough on the last lap. Don Duncan at the race here. You've got the two nearest to the bottom. That's Price still, but Don Duncan is looking very strong. I can tell you. Fargus in the semi-finals did say that she didn't actually work in the last 50, so a little bit of a psychological mind game is going on really between these two. And you can't do that sexting because that girl comes back really strong. And this is it. The last lap coming up. This is the business end of the race, but Katie Sexton, back in lane three, has left herself with an awful lot to do as Helen Don Duncan hits the front. Great grit and determination from this 19-year-old from Ashton Central, British record holder already, and she's being pushed all the way by Joanna Fargus. Price, who led for three quarters of the race, is back in third place. She's being challenged by Katie Sexton, but the winner is going to be Helen Don Duncan, who will reach for the wall now in a time of 2 minutes. who led for so long, 213.91, and a sign of the quality that British swimmers have in this event, the women's 200 backstroke, all of the first four met the qualifying mark. All of the first four, it's, it's, it's amazing quality, I mean, there, you've got to, the qualifying standards were set based on the top eight of the World Championships in Perth and the top 12 from Atlanta, so you've got four girls that are high quality here, so the two that are going to be going, that is Don Duncan, and that is Fargus. Got a real good chance at least of getting finals and maybe getting out there for medals. But Don Duncan was really gritty here and to break the British record twice. Look, you, you just see on these other, other these shots of the backstroke, because you can really see the grit and determination. And really, Sexton at the bottom of the pitch with a white cap really was not in touch and lacked too much to do towards the end. And I think we'll be disappointed by that. But really deserved by Don Duncan and Fargus as well. Another bit PB for her. And so, if these girls are showing their lifetime best to make it to the Olympics, then that's, that's a good effort and that's worth going. And Kathy Reid is worthy of a mention as well, because we've seen her so many times before on the BBC swimming coverage, finishing 8th in 221.32. But Helen Don Duncan, a winner of a thrilling race. She timed the challenge very well, and she came through when it mattered and held off the final surge of Joanna Fargus to finish in 211.25. So great strength in depth in the women's 200 metres backstroke. Helen Don Duncan, the winner of this event, for the fourth year in a row. She's lowered her own British record, 211.25 now. It's getting lower all the time, and she's talking with Sharon Davis.